Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna talk about the BitBroker trading bot and how to optimize it even more. So I'm gonna go over four reasons why possibly your bot isn't performing. So make sure to watch this until the end. Stay tuned. Make sure to press the bell icon to never miss another update. Welcome to the Crypto Mining Channel, your one-stop shop for all things crypto. If you like making money, make sure to press the subscribe button. Also, don't forget to check out the ultimate crypto guide, which I created for you to navigate through the wonderful world of cryptocurrency. Because I know you're a money maker, I even added a free crypto kit, which will make you hundreds of dollars worth of free cryptocurrency. First of all, guys, don't forget to check out my BitBroker crypto trading playlist on YouTube. You can find it at the top of your screen. There's a lot of interesting information there. Also, don't forget to check out the ultimate crypto guide. You can find the link in the video description. And what's also important, guys, if you haven't registered yet on BitBroker Trade, on Bitfavo, on Binance or on Bitstamp, make sure to use my link because it will bring you a bonus. It will give you some extra. For example, on Bitstamp, you can get $50 of free trading fees. For example, on Bitfavo, the first week, you won't pay any trading fees on your first thousand euros. And the list goes on and on. All the information is in the video description. Also, if you register with my link on BitBroker Trade, make sure to request your membership in my Facebook group, Crypto Trading Warriors. You can find it when you go to my Facebook page at Crypto Mining Channel. Uh, I share a lot of interesting information there. If you join the group, uh, we are something like a mastermind alliance. So we always try to help each other and optimize the settings because sometimes the market changes and maybe one person has better profits than the other person which i see regularly so then if we help each other we all make more money so the first reason is you don't have enough traders you can easily add a trader here you input your settings and voila, you select your exchange, your market trading strategy and your profit percentage and voila. So as you can see here, I have all trading pairs on all three exchanges also. All trading pairs except Ripple. So if you don't, if you only have like one trader or two traders, he can only trade with Bitcoin or with Ethereum, only two traders. I give them, I give him all the chance in the world to make me money. And yes, he's very successful because I have so many traders. He's constantly trading on all trading pairs. The second reason is you only input one strategy. You can read the frequently asked questions uh, on the BitBroker Trade website. I'll put a link in the video description so you can check out what strategy you prefer. You can choose either the BitBroker strategy or the up down strategy or choose them both. So I created traders, all traders on the BitBroker trade strategy, but also the up down strategy. So I maximized my earning potential. The third reason is that you don't have enough money for the trader to buy pockets. So the pocket size depends on the Bitcoin price, but it is always 0.001 Bitcoin. So like today, Bitcoin price is at 37,000 euros. This means that the minimal pocket, the minimal purchase is 37 euros. So possibly you input an average purchase amount, which means 100 euros. But with some people, for example, it's 25 euros or 30 euros. But if the Bitcoin price is 37,000 or 40,000, then 20, 30 euros is not enough. If the Bitcoin price is 50,000, he will buy pockets of 50 euros. He will buy cryptos for 50 euros. 
So this is important. This is also maybe the reason why your bot isn't trading currently. Um, so yeah, you can input an average purchase amount. I would suggest this. So I think it's interesting to input an average purchase amount, but make sure it is higher than the pocket size. If tomorrow Bitcoin price is at 100,000, he will buy cryptos per 100 euros minimum. Minimum. What's also interesting to note is that if the market is very volatile, I think it's interesting uh, to input a higher minimum profit percentage because I had many trades. For example, the, the Bitcoin price went from 30K to almost 40K. So he sold at 2%, 2.5%. Uh, some, I input some even uh, at 1% to check. What do I see then? He sells at like 1.6%. He, he always, most of the time, he always finds the maximum profit amount for you that's safe and then he sells. So even if you input one or 2%, your average, uh, the average sale amount will, will be higher than that percentage. But when the market is very volatile, I think it's more interesting to put a higher profit percentage. I'm not saying 10% and stuff, but like two, three, maybe even four. Uh, some people put it at five. And then when the market is more stable, I think it's more interesting to lower your minimum profit percentage. Because if you, for example, put it at 1%, he can maybe do a lot of trades and still be very profitable to you. Also guys, if you register with my link, make sure to request a membership on my Facebook group. Then you go to groups and then you see Crypto Trading Warriors, request your membership. I'll put the link also in the video description. All links are in the video description. If you haven't registered on Binance, on, on um, Bitfavo or on Bitstamp yet, make sure to do so with my link, then you will get an extra. The extras are in the video description. So guys, I hope this video was helpful to you. If it was, please give me a thumbs up. You can always uh, put a comment in the comment section. I like to see how you guys are doing. If you have also any questions, ask them in the comment section below. Don't forget to read the video description, all information you can find there. So I hope to welcome you all soon on the crypto mining channel and I wish you all a great day and talk to you soon guys. Bye bye. Press the bell icon to never miss another update. Join the Bitcoin revolution.